What's up guys? The date is January 1st, 2024, Washington and Texas tonight in New Orleans. I am headed there now. It's about a six hour drive. I'm at this drive through right now, Whataburger, getting some breakfast at 6 a.m. And I found a drive through that the van could fit under. It's 14 feet, so it's awesome. I have some cash with me. I'll show you guys, I normally don't do this. So if y'all are thinking of robbing me, the van never has cash in it. It's a special occasion. I'm going through Louisiana, so I know I'm gonna hit a casino. We got some cash out of the bank yesterday, probably like 18,000, 16,000, something around there. And I don't know what I'm gonna throw it on, but I'm throwing it on something. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys at the casino. Also, if you're new to my channel, back in September, I put down $21,000 on Washington to win the national title. So if they win, I will win $474,000, which would be fucking awesome. That's obviously what I'm rooting for. I'm super nervous, but super excited too. We're two wins away, boys. Beat the Longhorns, then beat the winner of Michigan, Alabama, and this is gonna be history. So we are chasing history today. All right, boys, we are five minutes away from the sports book. It's gonna be DraftKings Sportsbook that I'm hitting up. I'm gonna run in there, lock this bet in. The game is literally about to start. So I gotta focus, man. I gotta get the cash. I gotta get to the counter. I gotta probably set up an account too, if they require that, which they probably do. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can lock this in in time. All right, I got the cash right here, $7,000. I'm gonna put it in my hoodie and I'm gonna race in there and lock this in. All right, I just got it in. Super simple, super smooth, solid casino. Although I will say, I'm not too mad about it, but they limited me to $25,000 winnings. So I could only do six instead of seven. So 6,000, 7,000, it's, it's close enough. Still will be a big win. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, man? So whatever, we'll see what happens, but hopefully, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. Because if I lose, I ain't coming back. If I win, I'm picking up my money. So I'll see you guys right back here tomorrow and we'll collect our earnings. Bo Nix, baby, two minute drill. We were down six zero, we're up 31 to six now. <laughs> Let's go. I'm an Oregon Ducks fan right now, man. What are we doing? Watching Liberty, Oregon on the phone as I find this parking spot. So I'm probably gonna set up shop here, charge my phones, maybe walk around, maybe piss in a bottle, maybe piss in a toilet somewhere if I can find one. There seems to be a pretty serious homeless problem in New Orleans, which I probably could have seen coming. But the Superdome is right down the road. I'm fucking pumped, man. Let's get it. Let's get this money, boys. Check it out, boys. I'm posted up right outside the stadium. We're watching Oregon, chilling in the van, blacked out all the windows. About to take a nap and then wake up and watch the uh, Michigan Alabama game. We're out here right now in New Orleans, Louisiana. I took the van out here. Just took a nice 40 minute nap in the van after watching the Oregon game. Um, Alabama and Michigan are playing right now, so I'm gonna start streaming that and watching that on one phone. Also, I stopped at the casino on the way out here, the DraftKings Sportsbook, and the first part of this parlay hit, so Oregon hit for us. Now all we need is Washington Moneyline and we get another $21,000. Meaning, if Washington wins it all, I'm gonna make exactly 500,000. So, that's pretty dope. I'm gonna enter the stadium in an hour, but before that, I'm gonna walk around and explore for a little bit. It 
does feel a little weird to be out here alone, just walking in there by myself. I mean, nobody goes to the game alone. I'm technically with you guys, so I'm with thousands of people. But it's weird, man, but there's not really anyone I could go to this game with. No one really knows how much it means to me, except for me. So it just, it wouldn't feel right taking someone who doesn't really comprehend the magnitude of this. If this bet loses, I'm gonna be in shambles. To come this far and to not win would crush me. But if it wins and it puts me where I'm one win away from history and my biggest win ever, a 20 to one underdog, I mean, it's gonna be one of the happiest moments of my life. So the Oregon game was scary. I'm definitely less nervous for this game. I'm more confident against Texas, but at the same time, they're a great team. Anything can happen. And of course, I'm extremely nervous still. So not as nervous as Oregon, but still nervous. And man, just so excited for the game to start, but also just trying to soak in the moment right now because the feelings I'm feeling right now, they're special and you don't get to feel this very often in life. So I'm kind of in the twilight zone right now where just, I feel like I'm in a fucking dream. And you know, most people watching this video never get to feel that, but it's, it's something that I don't take for granted and I'm super grateful for just getting to go through all these emotions right now. All right, end of the first quarter, it's tied up. We've got the ball and we're putting a good drive together. It's really a big deal that we won the coin toss because we're gonna get ball second half. So if we're able to time this up and score at the end of the second quarter, get the ball back to start the third, we can really stretch this lead out even though it's just a tie game right now. Give it to Penix. Give it to Penix. Oh. 
They thought about it. They thought about it because they know what's about to happen. Get it! Oh my God! So instead of getting the ball up seven with a chance to go up 14, we muffed the punt. Texas gets a touchdown. It's a tie game. Right now, everything's fine, but we have to answer. You have to answer with a touchdown after something like that happens because Texas has so much momentum. If you don't answer with a touchdown, you know, Texas can really take over this game right now. So this is probably the most important drive of the game right here. Penix is about to take the field after the kickoff. We need a touchdown. We need a response. We need to respond to what just happened. Oh man, right now it's halftime. Took a step outside to cool off. Tie ball game, we get ball for a second half. Run defenses looked bad. Run offenses looked bad. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. But our passing attack looks amazing. Our defense is making timely plays. It's gonna come down to who has the ball last. And it's gonna be big if we can score this first drive of the second half, but I'm happy to bet on Penix. I'm happy to ride with them. If you're going to give me Quinn Ewers or Michael Penix, I'll take Penix every time. But what Ewers did going into the halftime was impressive. He took off and ran the ball a lot, and that really hurt us. But we'll see what happens second half. I'm obviously a little nervous, but I feel confident in our guys. And I'm just ready to get this game started again and get through it, get out of this with the win, hopefully. Washington started the second half with a touchdown, got a fumble recovery, kicked a field goal, and then just forced a stop on Texas' offense. So we're up 10 and we have the ball. If we can go up 17 here to end the third quarter, we're going to put ourselves in a really good spot because Texas has ran the ball really well, but they haven't thrown the ball well. So I'm just praying we can put a touchdown drive together right here. All right, we just had the ball up 13. We had a chance to put them away, we didn't, so we had to punt. Texas has the ball down 13 with 11 minutes left, so it's still a lot of game left. If they score seven here, they're right back in it. Go get it. All right, we're up six. We get ball with seven minutes, 23 seconds left. We have to at least get a field goal. You have to score here. If we score here, we make it a, a two possession game and we'll obviously run off a little bit of the clock on the way to scoring, but you have to score here. You cannot put this game in the defense's hands with just a six point lead.
Texas has the ball on the 12, 15 seconds. If they score a touchdown, they win it. First and 10 at the 12. I can't even believe we let him back into the game. Tough injury on that Dylan Johnson injury. That's the only reason we're here. It sucks, man. It's a really shitty way to lose if we don't pull this out, but I'm not feeling good, but we'll see how I feel in a few minutes. Longest 15 seconds of my life right here, but that's why we love to gamble for moments like this. And I'm definitely scared right now, boys. I'm definitely scared. National championship game if he can split those uprights, and he did. Cool as a cucumber. That's so messed up. I didn't think we were going to do it at the end. Honestly, I, I thought we were going to lose. I thought we were going to lose, man. I placed this bet in September. And to be here, we got one game left in this against Michigan. We got one more game, man. I know it. I know I'm going to do it. Thank God. Thank God. Man. I love you guys. I love you guys if you're watching this. I can't believe we did it. Thank God. About to leave the Superdome. Washington just won, and I'm not gonna lie, that was by far the most uncomfortable, most scared I've ever been watching a football game in my life. I feel like this is a dream right now. We're one game away. I don't give a shit if we're 20 point underdogs. We're one game away, and I placed this bet in September. And you know, for me, I always dreamt of this, I always wanted to hit a big futures. I used to bet $2 plays when I was in college. I'm 30 years old now. I put all my money together. I put it in on this futures bet. And I've made a lot of money this year. And a lot of people have doubted me all year. And I don't even care if people root for me or against me, but it's a dream to be in this situation. And if we do, if we do close it out, man, it's gonna be the greatest day of my life. January 8th, 2024. My son's first birthday and the day that Washington wins it all. So I'm out here, what's your name, man? Owen, Owen. Owen, he's yeah. from Seattle. Do you go to UW? No, I don't go to Seattle U, but I'm right by there, so yeah. Just a fan. Yeah. And he recognized me recording a freaking yeah. video, so I just wanted to, <laughs> I, I, wanted, I, had, I had to put him Scott's in the vlog. Right <laughs> One more win. One more, One more win. win, let's go. go. This is my first time here, so this is my lucky oh, spot, there man. There you go. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be back. This is yep. 10, 20, 20 then a 7, 7, 7, 7 20. Hell yeah, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Thanks. All right. 